Hello and welcome. Welcome to part uh, 14 of our 1200 scale Yamato battleship build. And in this video, we will be starting on something different, which will be the funnel. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you we've got uh, the anatomy of a ship here with the Yamato and a great reference material. Get the glare off. We've got some beautiful photos, some technical drawings. Um, really get an idea of what we want this to look like. Um, different elevations. Uh, where the foghorn is, it says plan of foghorn, but it's not on there. But anyway, uh, there's also some lights on there, um, signal lights, plat platforms, walking platforms, railings, a lot of details for that. Beautiful. It looks really nice in there too. So very, very handy to have this book. For, um, for building this model. So let's have a look at the section we're up to, which will be step 69. I'll put that up in the top corner there. And uh, as you can see, we're going to start with the funnels. Now, in this video, um, I may also uh, do the um, base coat with Outlaw Paints Black Primer of some of these superstructure um, parts we've done in the previous videos. Okay, so I mentioned that in last week's update. Last week I put out a video of a progress of the progress update for the model, and we just quickly went through from uh, the beginning of the playlist, the unboxing, to the aftermarket materials, uh, a little bit on the um, Fujimi turret 1200 scale. And then on down to step one, right through to part 14, well, actually part 13 that we we're up to at that stage. So, uh, yeah, that's if you want to have a quick uh, rundown and overview of how we got to uh, where we're at now, um, worth checking out that video. Um, also, I'll mention, as I will in all my videos now, that uh, I do a live stream every Friday morning. Uh, 6 a.m. in Australia time. I'm not sure what time that is wherever you are, but uh, hopefully it's not too inconvenient. And you, anybody who's welcome to pop along, uh, come in to chat and uh, have a bit of a live chat with me in real time. And uh, we'll talk Yamato, modeling in general, and anything else that we come across that we want to talk about. There's quite a good community of people that are subscribe to the channel and i'm subscribed to a lot of night really good channels as well we all give each other a praise where it's deserved so um all right let's get on with this and let me get the f sprue out that's what i seem to need and uh we'll start on this um also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hit that thumbs up if you like the video and if you think of something you want to comment about Drop it down the bottom. All right, let's move on. Back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. I just took a few pieces off here. Um, the F1, F2 parts of the actual size of the funnel, uh, that sprue hadn't been washed before, so I've just washed it in some dishwashing liquid and rinsed it off, and it's drying. In the meantime, I took these off that go attached to it. And I just wanted to show you the detail on, some, on this. Caught me by surprise, actually. It's a bit... You probably can't see it so well here. I'll put a photo up in the corner. And I took that with my macro lens so you could see the checker plate and the rivet holes and the and the detail just on that little piece there. Looks really good, doesn't it? And also I noticed this part here um, has, I guess that goes on the side as it shows on the instructions there. And this goes on top. It's a vent. Well, I'm quite surprised that before the photo etch included, they didn't um, include that piece as photo etch because that would have uh, looked much nicer. But anyway, they didn't. But there is plenty of photo etch to come. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll get those pieces now that should be dry and uh, 
and I'll get all these trimmed up and we'll get them put together. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you the nice detail on that. We'll be back shortly. Okay, back again. Just, uh, this is all dry now. And I'm just looking at the fit and it's quite good. But um, what you've got to be careful of is, unfortunately, the connecting points to the sprue were right on where the seam line's going to be, where they join. So you've got to get that perfectly flat. Um, my suggestion is to use a glass file, like nice super fine glass nano files. They're really, really good. And get that perfectly flat and you'll have no gap because it is a really nice fit. As you can see, that's on there. So that's going to be fine. And this down here, Again, very, very carefully just sand <coughs> that so uh, that those nubs are in no way sticking up at all. Now on the inside you'll see a lot of injector pin marks, but that won't be seen. So I'm not going to worry about those. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to glue this together. There's some very nice detail on this too, with, with, in the way of rivets and... Um, molding of pipes and there's little stairways going up there and some uh, hatches but very very nice um, yeah so I'll glue this together um, we've got all the other parts all trimmed up and right so they'll that'll slide on the back of there and we'll get all this together okay I'll be back again shortly Okay, back again, and uh, just progressing along with this. Um, this part slid in, no problem at all. This part with the vent went over the back, which covered the only gap there really is, so that was that worked out really well. This has gone together fine, looking really good. And, uh, yeah, nice. So now all I'm doing now is doing the underside of these, which uh, require, um, be careful with these two. These are numbered and uh, they look identical, but they're not. <laughs> Mainly, I think, because of these slots in here for something later on. But uh, they're going to go and fit like that. Uh, another one goes in there. Make sure you do get them in the right positions. It's there. And this one will go in the center. Pretty much. Oh, my clumsy fingers. I should have done the center one first. <laughs> there it is. That's going to go there. So that, that neatens that all up under there. So I'll just glue all those in. I'll do the same on the other side. And then uh, we'll get to a bit of photo etch, it looks like, in the last part of this step 69 a few pieces of photo which to go on both sides all right i'll be back when we're doing that okay welcome back again um just come up across a bit of a confusing spot here i labeled i numbered these so number four i numbered them so i wouldn't get them mixed up all right these three fit perfectly no problem but this one when it sits in there there's gaps where there shouldn't be gaps, hey. So if I put that on, like this, it's going to fit there like that, all right? So it goes on, but there just seems to be a, a larger gap down the side, and it doesn't line up the same as the opposite side. It's way off. I'm just a bit concerned about whether that's right i'm sure it is what i did was i've got the actual superstructure out and i've test fitted it on i'll do it again now I'll just pop that on there like that okay and that fits beautifully all the way around and it looks right from one side to the other so i'm i'm, I'm pretty sure it's okay it's just the way that doesn't seem to sit 
like the opposite side. But maybe it's not supposed to. That's why they're numbered and they are slightly different. The differences are there's these little location points here, which I think are sort of plastic rails that go on there um, much later. And they're different sizes. So hopefully it's okay. Well, it has to be okay. There's no other way it could go. So, yeah. I'll, I'll glue it on and we should be okay. It fits fine around this side. It's just here. It just sort of looks odd and it overhangs a little bit. Just does seem a little bit out of place. But anyway, I'm, I'm confident the instruction is, instructions are correct. <laughs> but yeah, that's just, I don't know, if you have this problem or if you've had, if you remember, if you've built this part, uh, it's piece G5. Is it? No, G4. G4, the way it positions on there, looks uh, just looks a little bit odd. Anyway, we shall continue on. Back in a sec. Okay, so that's step 69 complete. There's our photo etch running all the way around. Uh, went on quite easy, lined up nicely. I had no need for using any um, uh, activating for the glue. It just uh, was no problem at all. And uh, now we're going to move on and start with step 70. Drop that up in the corner. There's a ladder, another couple of bits of photo etch on the top curve here. Then we've got a platform down below there, which is going to go somewhere around here. Let me get those pieces off and we'll get those on. Be back in a sec. Okay, so put the platform on. There it is there. Uh, quite simple, really. Just line it up where it's going to match up with the other plastic platform there and it'll sit there and then after you've glued it in place just bend those support legs in and touch them with glue as well. Put the ladders on the either side there which is correct by the instructions but there's no sign of the ladders anywhere in the anatomy of a ship. They don't have those ladders showing. But anyway, they're on there as per instructions. Let me just have another quick check of that back in a sec. Yes, they are correct. It's unusual because they sit there on the side and really go up to nowhere. They go up under the platform there. So if you were to climb that ladder, you, you can't go anywhere when you get to the top. Anyway, it's on. Um, so that's step 70 done. Now, we could move along and go to step 71 or take a break from this and how about we whack some paint paint on some superstructure parts let me get those out and we'll have a look at what we can start priming so it's a good day today for painting it's not too hot and uh we'll see what we got so hang on a sec i'll be back in a minute okay so these are what we can pretty much get our outlaw paints black primer on the top section of the bridge with the um, radars on them, that can all be primed up. So can this, the bridge superstructure itself. We can put some black paint on that. We can also do this. That can all be primed up as well. I will go back through the instructions just to double check, but that should be fine. And then there's that platform that we did here that goes on here. Um, that also can be primed and our mast which doesn't have any other color there's no white areas or black it is all imperial japanese gray as well um, so we can put some primer on that as well so what i do a um, little sneaky trick is let I me mean, normally i would use a um a toothpick but in this case because I've got plenty of these little icky sticky um, brushes, application brushes here. Um, the ones I've used, I'll just cut the ends off and I'm going to super glue this to give you an example to the bottom of that. 
If I super glue that to there, so you can see that there, then that gives me something to hold where I can paint the whole thing and then uh, take the, snap that off when it's done and that will go where it won't be seen anyway when it's placed on top of here. Okay, just makes it easy to paint. Uh, same with this. Probably not this would be not this would probably be too small, but a piece of sprue I'll find. Um, I did actually keep these six years, but they're a bit too short, so I can't. But I'll I'll stick a bit of sprue in there as well and create a handle to hold this so I can easily turn this around and do what I want to, to get it all painted up. And we'll, all the parts actually do the same with that. I'll same with this one here. That can be glued straight into that there. And uh, and this well, this will be a bit trickier because we can't really do that. But I'll I'll get like uh, have alligator clips, which uh, sort of grab one like that, and we'll just uh, hold this by one of the legs. Yeah, hold that like that and get that painted up. All right, so yeah, I'm going to go get my spray booth all set up and uh, put some paint on these. All right, so I'll come back and I'll pretty much come back when they're done. Um, the attachments that I'll use for handles will stay on there because obviously it's going to be painted grey afterwards. But uh, I just want to get that base coat on there and let that sit there for a long, long time so we can all uh, create a nice uh, dry uh, surface for the, the main coat to go on. All right. So, yeah, I'll go through, check the instructions, make sure there's nothing else I can put on here before spraying and uh, and get, get onto it. All right. Back shortly. Hello. Welcome back. So unfortunately, um, I didn't record audio. I don't know what happened, but I'm doing a voiceover for this section. So here we are, um, back with all our parts all primed up in the Outlaw Paints Black Primer. I gotta tell you, this stuff goes on absolutely beautifully. Um, it just creates such a beautiful layer across the plastic. It's almost like the plastic was black originally. <laughs> you know, I mean, look at that. You know, um, really, you've got to get your hands on this stuff. It's just amazing. So we managed to get in all the bits and pieces. You'll notice I've got the little handles I made on these to be able to hold them while I'm painting. Uh, very handy trip. That one I didn't need to because I put an alligator clip under there. There was a locating pin to put it on. But it just makes it easy to be able to get into all those little nooks and crannies that are a bit tricky. And uh, there's one there where I've just glued that little handle on there. Did all that radar array went on nicely. The paint went on nice. Uh, even those small little uh, parts of photo etch where the holes all were in that weren't blocked up. It was just beautiful. And of course our mast is uh, looking good too. And uh, there's our little piece that goes on the front of that bridge. Um, fine, looking really good. So what I'm going to do now is, and I have to remember because I'm watching this now after I've already recorded it, is um, put these all back in their containers um, where they'll be safe and nothing's going to get broken or snapped off or damaged or anything like that. And uh, we'll be able to um, make sure everything's all right. Okay, so now we're back. <laughs> Sorry, no, back shortly because I didn't know we were going to go. But we're back here and it looks like we're going to make a start on the funnel and get some pieces off the sprue. So, uh, yeah. Um, it's quite tricky doing a voiceover. I mean, you don't remember exactly doing this, but... Anyway, it's all come up all right. So all our parts are on there. The sprues are all washed. Everything's clean. There's not going to be any residue. And uh, we can get our parts off. Just got to be very, very careful. There's a lot of small parts the way you handle these. 
and um, those parts I'm pointing at now are actually the vents that run up the side of the funnel. Um, I've put the instructions up there on what we're up to and you can see where they go uh, in those holes on the other piece that I showed earlier and um, you'll see later that they all do line up really nice and uh, looks really good and they can all go on and get painted later as we will do. Alright, so I think I'm going to move on now and uh, we'll be back shortly and here we are, we're back. <laughs> so there's those little um, supports for the vents that go up the side of the funnel. Um, you just got to make sure you get them at the right angle because they are meant to look like they run right through and uh, and are coming out the bottom. So you just position them, uh, hit them with a bit of um, extra thin and they're, they're, they're good as done, it's no problem at all. Um, and they all go in quite nicely. Uh, what else is there? Um, no photo etch at this stage, just, uh, just a matter of getting them all lined up. Uh, it's just at the angle of this whole piece it's going to be sitting. So even though they look 45 degrees, they're actually going to be straight when they're on the ship going up the side of the tunnel. Okay, so I think I'm going to move on a bit now and do some more. I'm just trying to see where we're at here. Um, you'll notice I've got, this must be some photo which to go in somewhere. I'll have to go and check back on that. Let me just check. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so what we're actually doing now are the photo which supports that go underneath here. There's a lot of these little triangular um, pieces and uh, they're all numbered. They all have to go in the right location. Um, I would highly recommend you take your time and uh, don't get them mixed up because they're all slightly different angles and sizes as they sit in there and lean up against the plastic um, and sit square as they should. Um, what I do is I use a bit of blue tack down on my flat tile, just hold it so it's there in the position. I don't have to fumble around and trying to hold it and pick them up. You pretty much just take it straight out of the blue tack and put it in. What I'm also using is my big ammo glue and um, it's a slope. You see this throughout my build. It's photo etch glue and um, you just put it in there and uh, it'll dry slower um, but perfectly clear so you're going to have a nice neat job in the end. Okay, now um, I think I did actually use that all the way through. There may have been a few times where I've used um, uh, just some thin uh, CA glue but Mostly using the um, applicators, I can just put this this glue on here. It's no problem at all. So we've moved on again, and there we go. I've got them all done there. You can see them all. Uh, they're all nice and straight. It can be a bit tricky getting them straight because when you wear those goggles to see what you're doing, your magnifying glasses, it does distort your view a little bit. So well, that's what I find anyway. It's pretty hard to make sure they're actually all straight. But they're all there, they're all on, and, uh, and these ones are all, um, yeah, ready to move on to the next part of the instructions. And, uh, yeah, all right, I'll, um, I'll do that. <laughs> you know, I know what's happening. I'm trying to watch, I can't watch this and uh, see where I'm going with it to be able to talk in advance. So, uh, let me just check where I'm at. We'll be back in a second. Okay, welcome back. So we're moving on now to step 72 and here we've got the upper section of the funnel. Now there's a lot of detail on this, lots of rivet work. It looks really, really nice. 
and then of course we've got that ring that sits around the top there and uh, again just be careful when you're trimming up your sprue and connection points to make sure everything fits in really nice now I was going to glue that on as per the instructions but if you look along there you'll see we've got a lot of photo edge to do and a lot of that photo edge in the next section goes down inside the funnel so to be sure that that would fit well I've decided to leave that piece off I won't glue that on until after I put the photo etch for the inside of the funnel together and moved it down down in there to make sure it all clears and then I can glue this part on later okay so um, what we need to do now is um, move on and get some of this photo etch done it's quite a lot and uh, but you'll find as you as we'll get to it it does go together quite easily so I shall be back and we are back <laughs> so uh, here's the other piece that goes on top of that ring that I mentioned and no it's not sorry correction there's all the pieces with the photo which done all right so it all went together quite easily as per the instructions again don't get your pieces mixed up make sure that it's all right it only goes in one way and I'm just doing a test fit here just to make sure it's going to slide down in there and I don't push it all the way because I don't want to have problems getting it out but it does fit so that's really good um, all the uh, braces of all those columns in there all sit within the original photo which ring slides down in there so it's, it's all fine okay so um, yeah now the other part is painting so what I've decided to do is I'm going to paint this piece separately because it would be almost impossible to paint it and get all that photo which covered up while it's down inside the funnel there so I'm going to paint it all first and then put it in afterwards um, you'll also find that I'll need to paint uh, the inside of the funnel where you can see side walls on the inside um, I did them with the black and, uh, <coughs> and that ring is also going to be black as well at the top um, and of course all that grid which will sit on top of the whole lot um, will be black so that needs to be painted separately as well and that's about where the line is that goes across where it goes from black to the IG and grey so what I'm planning to do is prime the whole thing in the black primer and tape it up around that line and just leave it and there it is there there's our photo edge all primed up with the Outlaw Paints primer um, as expected went on beautifully no problem at all and doing it that way I managed to get right in there and get it all done properly no glints of uh, metal coming through and that's ready to slide down now of course this is the top of the funnel here um, I've got to clean the nubs off that and I'll glue that down inside and uh, it'll be fine now I have to apologize for the the noise the birds are waking up it's now almost 6 a.m. in the morning here and because I'm doing the voiceover I can't really block out the birds so you may hear some uh, parrots starting to wake up in the street across the in the park across the street anyway we shall continue and um, yeah so there we go we've changed over again we've got a bit more photo etch that's got to go on top of the part here I'm just explaining about how I need to paint the inside of the funnel just because you can see through that and we don't want to look down and see uh, grey plastic um, there's also the photo etch pieces that go across the top of the grid just below my thumb there still on the mat um, and they, they simply I'll, I'll attach those and paint them when I do do a black as you can see there's uh, a couple of little lines where, they, where they'll sit in there um, 
Yeah, so it was pretty tricky to work out how to paint this uh, because there's also all, as you'll see later, all the um, vents that go up the side of it. And uh, they're, they're grey up until where they reach the black area, so those parts might be hand painted. But you'll see what I mean. Um, all this I've test fitted, uh, and again, painting that separate allows me to get underneath it as well make sure that it's, it's got paint all inside there so you can look down there you're not going to see any grey uh, so yeah just little things you've got to think of ahead you know uh, for the photo etch for example I think I had to go over to the next step in the instructions where it actually mentioned putting that photo etch on um, it did so I had to look ahead go well there's no point painting the top of this and then putting that photo etch on because then I've got to paint it again so always um, keep ahead of the instructions as well keep looking ahead um, makes your job a lot easier okay now just working out uh, where the lines can be where it's going to need to be masked and this whole thing will be painted black later um, yeah. All right. I think we're coming to the end of this section, and uh, when we come back, we should have voice back because it started to record again, which is good to know. <laughs> All right. So I shall return, and my voice will be back. Hello. Welcome back. All right. So fixed up my audio problems. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so here we go. We've got this all glued on now. Um, I've got some of the photo etch done around here. Now what I've decided to do is I'm putting on all the photo etch uh, and parts that are going to be the IGN grey. That way I can black prime everything, then spray it, and then mark this off where it's going to be black before I put the photo etch on there. I'm going to paint the photo etch rail that's around there separately, um, black. Uh, otherwise, there's no way I could put masking tape over it without damaging it, so that won't happen. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do it all the way around, and then um, for the there's like um, smokestacks and exhausts. I don't know what they're called. They go up the side there, and that's all of these parts all here. And here, they all go along the edges there. They're all um, grey up until where they reach the black area where they're black. So what I'll be doing is I'll black prime them all. I'm going to take them off individually, label them so they don't get mixed up, and um, pin them all on here ready to paint, and I'll prime them in black. Then I'll hit them with the IGN grey, and then when they're attached or when I've got them here where I can line up where the black begins, then I can just brush them by hand and get the um, the line of the black area on the top. Okay, I'll show you um, on the anatomy of a ship the look I'm trying to get. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. I'll just bring clear this out of the way. Okay, so you can see by this the anatomy of a ship looking at some really nice photographs here. So there's the black that I need to mask and get that on and then where the top of these exhausts go vents is where they have to be black and I can't really work that out until they're positioned so I'll just hand brush them that'll be fine they'll look good that'll be easy to do um, other than that um, yeah it's just a little bit tricky just have to work around it slowly and, and get it all right um, yeah, so that's where I'm at now. Um, the photo etch that goes along on here, I'll, I'll apply, I'll put all that on because that's all going to be grey. The ladder that goes up gets to a point where it's black at the top and because it crosses that line, I can't mask over the top of that. So what I'll end up doing is just um, is painting the ladder separate along with the other bits of photo etch that do sit up on there which is a couple bits, not much. So here's the instructions. And we have uh, this piece here, 
that'll have to be done separately along with these two here and possibly this one because it does tend to curve up and go where half of it's actually going to be black and the other half will be gray so yeah very very tricky and then of course there's all our exhaust ports that go up i don't know what to call those they they're like vents they'd be vents i'm sure of some sort and uh they will need to be done so yeah yeah complicated but we're getting there and uh happy with the way that showed up i've got all black on the inside there as well and uh that's all looking great all right so i'll get a little bit more done and we'll be back shortly okay welcome back everybody so i've done all those uh, vents that go up the side of the funnel they're undercoated and they're painted in the IGN gray now. So they're ready to go on. They're really good. Now, the photo etch, I've painted that. Um, they're all the pieces that are black. They're at the top in the black section. They're done black. There's the ladder that runs up the side here. That's done in gray because most of it's gray. Just a little fraction of top is black, which I'll use a brush to top up. So that'll fix that. Now, this you'll see is not glued on, but that's going to go on there like that. Okay. Now, it's telling me um, to put all that stuff on before I glue this, but what's happened is there's a ladder that actually attaches on the front there and goes over the edge and down to this platform. So to attach that ladder, which needs to be painted grey with everything else, that, low, that lower section... Um, this needs to be attached because it sort of goes from this onto the other piece. So I'm about to now glue that on like that. And then I can um, uh, paint it, but uh, remembering to mask up the black. Is that right? No. It's all got to be done in black primer first, so I don't have to mask anything. <laughs> it's this. It's separate. I hope this isn't too confusing for everybody. Um, there's also a couple of bits to go on either side here uh, and a railing to go around here. So I'm going to take them off and connect them straight on um, as well as glue this part of the funnel down. Yeah, that's going to work, trust me. Because <laughs> if we look at step, uh, and this is where it gets confusing, step 74, you'll see that the railings go on here and that's all going to be painted grey. So it'll be black primed, the whole thing. Then I'll tape, I'll run the tape around that, which is only going to be about six millimetres wide. And then I'll come along with the grey and do everything grey. Peel off my masking tape to reveal the black still underneath. And that's where my black photo etch will sit in there. Um, these vents will go up onto the side here and I'll touch up where they're level with the grey, uh, with the black, I'll touch them up black at the ends and it will work out fine, trust me. <laughs> All right, so um, I'll get on with that. All right, and uh, we'll come back and have a little bit of another look, probably when this is primed in the Outlaw Paints black. Okay, back shortly. Hello, welcome back. So, there we go. There's our funnel all painted up in uh, the black primer, Outlaw Paints. And what I'm going to do now is I did this last yesterday afternoon. It's now the next morning, so I've had plenty of time to dry. Made sure I put a nice thick layer of primer on there. And what I need to do is tape up around here because there's going to be a black line that goes around there. And you'll see that. I'll show you that in a second on the anatomy of a ship and what i've discovered is that the six mil um, tape by iggy sticky is just perfect so that will form my black line then i'll cover this so i don't get paint on there and then we'll give it a nice nice beautiful coat of um, the outlaw paints ijn um, gray and i'm thinking that's going to come up looking really nice and once that's on and had time to dry then i can go and put all these on which are all our vents that go up the side 
And there is another three that I've missed out that are in step 73. Uh, little ones that go on the on the rear here. I think there's three. Could be four. Um, there's actually six because they're both sides. So there's three there, three there. Which I haven't painted up at all. So I'll do that. That'll give me something to do while this is all drying. And uh, yeah, and then I can put all those on. That'll be great. And then we'll go from then, um, from step 73 will be complete, 74 will be complete. And we've got at step 75, there's some spotlights and uh, or signal lights, not sure which they are. And there's one, two, three, four go on there. All right, so I'm gonna detail them up really nice. That's why I've left them off and I'll do them into separately from this. Okay, so yeah, that's come up really nice. So I'll go paint this now. Let's make sure it all dries properly. Well, I'll mask it up first, and then we'll come back and have a look at it when it's all looking nice. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, there it is all taped up. I'll just go now and uh, put some paint on. Back in a sec. Hey guys, back again. I'm just taking this off. I'm sorry, I forgot to hit record before I took the top bit off, but spray it up now. I'm just removing the tape. And there it is there. Beautiful. Uh, I literally spray, sprayed that five minutes ago. I don't leave that tape on any longer than I need to. Look at that. It's come up really good, hey. You can see that. I'm trying to get the colour... There you go, there you go. Really, really happy with that. That black um, undercoat really brings out the shadow detail in areas. I deliberately put a real light coat on this vent on the back here so it looks like there's a bit of, you know, it's not as clean. Uh, there's a bit of shadow in there. And uh, of course, I'll detail that up with more panel line wash and so forth, but yeah. Really happy. So I'm going to let this dry, put it in a little dustproof container now, sit there for an hour, and then we can come back and um, put on all these uh, vents to go on. And I will test fit them because I've got to brush paint the black on the tops of those where they come up above this line here. Um, but in the meantime, I'll do those other three uh, or other six little pieces that go on the back here, and I'll get them painted up. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so here we are with all the parts to those um, signal lights. And um, there's only six to make. <laughs> and there's four sprues. So there's L, sprue L, there's four, uh, four of them. There's two of everything on each sprue. So we've actually got two spare lights, which is handy to have. Um, I'll put number 75 up in the corner here, you can see. So that's the uh, part, the um, step we're on to. Um, those are 39 and 40 both sides. Oh no, 39 pieces. I've already put them on. I put them on when I painted it. And uh, so yeah, so I'm going to just clean these up now. With just tidy up and get all the nubs off and get them looking good. Um, we'll have a look when I get one together and uh, work out what colour I'm going to do these. Now obviously they're going to be the grey but these have uh, glass lenses, of course, so we want to get some sort of effect happening on there. There's also two tiny little bits of photo etch on the D sprue of photo etch, which are two of the little wheels, and there's two go on each one on one side somewhere. I haven't had a close look yet, and again, we might make those a different colour as well. Having done that, that means I will have to leave these off the... Um, funnel base as you can see in the instructions there um, because we need to paint so uh, we'll, we'll definitely put these when they're all made up in a separate little container somewhere so that they're all put away safe and they can go on at the right time um, yeah which is not far off actually because I have actually painted the funnel haven't I so these will be able to go on when they're done the only other paint that's going to go on top of any of this will be clear coat so that'll be fine. 
All right, so um, I'll get on to putting one of these together and we'll have a look at it and we'll discuss a bit more of how we can detail this a bit more than normal. Okay, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've got one put together and uh, see how tiny that is. But uh, so what I've done is I've not glued the uh, brackets on the side so because it, it fits quite tightly so I, I don't think I need to and I can adjust the angle of where I want them after I fit it um, I've put the photo etch on there's two little uh, handles like that you turn on there and I'll probably paint them maybe a red or a green I'm not sure we'll see about that but I'll have to use a brush and just touch that up very carefully um, as for the lens itself still haven't decided what I'll do there um, we'll see. What I might do is just put my layer of um, ultra glue over the top of it so it gives it a glass reflective look and not paint it at all, really. That'd probably be the best way to do it. Um, because they're, I think, from what I can tell, they're like shutters in there that open and close. Um, so you would be able to see the, see the reflection of glass in there but I think overall they're still going to be grey. Um, yeah, going by the um, the book, the uh, Anatomy of the Ship, they're sort of grey. It doesn't really show much any detail in there at all. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. But I'll put all the rest together and, uh, and get that done. And by then our funnel should be dry, and uh, I'll be able to start putting on those... Um, uh, well, were they like stacks or um, vents on the side? I'll start putting those on. I don't know if I showed you also, I did paint up those other bits that I'd forgot. There's six pieces there. And then, uh, well, they'll be dry by now, so I'll go throw a, a coat of grey on them uh, right now. I'll be back in a sec. Hey, everybody, welcome back again. So while I've painted those uh, lights, they're all uh, primed up in black, let them dry, we'll go back to working on the funnel here, so now what I'm going to do is place all those pipes on the side, vents as I've been calling them, and here they are here, now I've labelled these ones up here as first because they're first in the instructions, I put the uh, step 73 up in the corner there and you'll see what I mean so the fo the um, photo etch will get to some of that needs to go on but we're going to work on these funnels for the moment I think or should we do the photo etch first and uh, it looks like photo etch first might be better because this um, it goes underneath where those uh, vents go so, in that case, push that back out of the way, and bring over our photo etch, which is all these little pieces here. These ones are the ones in black that will be around in the black area. I've done the ladder in grey, and I'll just brush paint it where it reaches into the black area. But yes, we'll need to put these on before we put these stacks on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's one to go around here, and then there's two on either side, that way and that way. Um, the reason I painted them, in case you missed what I mentioned it before, separately like that, is because I had to mask that up, and I couldn't have masked it up over the photo etch without damaging it. Okay, so they're already bent to shape, and they're right to go, so it's just a matter of um, popping them on there very carefully with... Uh, some CA glue I'll place it with my little pointer here so we put just enough where we need it and uh, we'll get them on neatly okay I'll come back we'll have a look at that and then we'll get those um, vents on okay back in a sec okay back and sorry about that my Bluetooth speakers turned itself off um, so we've got can't probably see but there's the railings are on around here, three on each side, or two and one that went round the back. 
um, no problems at all. I've also put the ladder on that went, goes on the front. This top section here, I'll paint black where the black line begins on the, um, the funnel there. And uh, there, it's looking really, really nice. Now I'm up to putting those vents on. So, uh, yeah, let me start with, uh, I'll start doing my section that I have listed here as first, which are these ones, and they are working on, uh, on the ladder across. Yeah, so these four location points here is where these four, and plus the smaller one, will go in there. So uh, I'll just position them. We'll come back and have a look at them. Okay, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, back again. And I've just done that side. See them all on there. Looking really nice. No problems at all. Sometimes they might have got in the way of some of the um, photo edge. But generally they fitted quite well. So it's no problem. Okay, so I'll just do the other side now, and then when we come back, I'll um, be able to we'll go back to doing the um, signal lights or spotlights, whichever they are. Back again in a sec. Okay, so there they are, both sides done, looking good. Uh, all I'm going to do now is just get a brush, and I'll use my rubber black, and just touch up the tops where they come up level with that line of the black across the top of the funnel there, both sides, and then that'll be done. I'm really happy the way that's come out. Now I'm going to do these, the um, spotlights. Um, they're ready to paint grey, so I'll um, give them a coat of grey, see how they come out, and then we'll do a bit of detail work on them. Okay, back again shortly. Okay, so um, I did the tops of all those vents in the black, so they match up, and they're looking really nice on there, I think, yeah. Um, now I'm going to do the spotlights, or signal lights, and um, I've done them in the grey. Now what I was going to do was those little photo etch handles that you turn around, I was going to do them another colour, maybe just to add a bit of colour there, do them like a green or even a red. But when I looked at the pictures in the um, anatomy of a ship and that, I thought, oh, no, they are actually left grey. So I won't be doing that. I'll bring the book up here and we can have a look at what I'm talking about. So there, there's a shot of it there. Try and get the glare off. Um uh, there we go. See that? So yeah, they're not any other color, they're grey, so I'm gonna leave them grey. Um but I have noticed that this rim around the light itself here looks like a, a more metallic silvery colour than the rest of it. So what I was thinking of doing was I've got some flat aluminium here and uh, I'm just gonna give it a well I'll brush that on and see how that comes up. Give it a bit of a that more metallic look that it has and uh, see how that looks. And then what I was going to do was fill the inside with my um, MIG ammo canopy glue that I use for my porthole windows and do it for these. Um, even though I know that these are like vertical shutters on there that open and close, which makes me think that they are actually just signal lights rather than spotlights. Um, having that around there will give it a bit of a reflective effect. I think that'll look quite good. So, uh, yeah, I'll give that a go. All right, so I'll come back and we'll have a look at the first one when I've done it. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so there's the first one done see the reflection there and uh, yeah I like that I think it's come up really well the metal effect so um, 
I'll, when that dries, I'll put the um, the canopy glue in there that will dry clear and give that whole centre section a. Even though it'll be see through, it'll give a reflection that there's um some glass in there. All right, excellent. I'll be back shortly. Okay, back again once again. Now there they are, two on each side. Now I did say make six, so I'm guessing the other two will go somewhere else. So I'll put those two away for later. Um, I decided not to put the canopy glue on there to create that glass effect. Um, I'm still undecided on that. I'm sort of liking the way it is. And uh, it, I can always add that later if I want. But I think that looks quite good as it is. So there it is. So that's the um, step 75 complete. Uh, if you remember those two little bits on the side, we put that down on the main superstructure platform. So that's that was already done. That was number 44 and 45 parts. And that's it. So what we got to do now is move over to step 76. And 76 has, well, we've done that. They're those two little pieces I put down. I've already put on. And, well, basically they're telling me to put this down on the superstructure. Which, once again, I'm not going to do yet because we've still got further work to do and painting to do. But that's the first real major piece that I've actually completed with the final coat. And it looks really, really nice, hey? Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. <laughs> So what I'll do is I'll take a couple of photos of this and put them up in the corners so you can see them and uh, have a bit of a closer look. And uh, yeah, really, really nice. Now, uh, we're getting up to the hour mark of the video. That's where I like to keep it under. So um, we're going to end it here. Um, in part 15, we'll be moving over to step 77. 77 there's a little platform that goes across the superstructure which i'll just show you here for a second so there's our superstructure there well the base of it so it goes across between these two parts that i put on uh, for step 75 just checking and uh yeah that is where they go so we're going to build up a photo etch platform goes across there and then part of step 77 is also putting in some uh, railings which is strange I don't, oh yeah I guess it's all one step uh, so on that platform there's some railings pretty basic uh, and then we go over to 78 and there's a ladder a couple of ladders to go on and a uh, few more bits of plastic to go around the place but what we'll also do in part 15 is some more painting because if i put this back away we have this all made up and it's ready for the gray to go on there's nothing else to be added on to that so we'll definitely get that painted up in the next video we'll also be able to do I think it's on top of this. Yeah, on top of that, there's a radar unit. And there it is there. And that also is ready to paint. So we'll get that painted. We'll also, lots of progress, we'll get these painted up. So they should look really good. Very nice. And, of course, we could probably, while we've got the paint happening, we'll do the mast as well. So, a lot to look forward there. And then, progressing on, uh, beyond uh, 70, step 79, there's some more, they look like uh, supports and so forth. Um, I'll just quickly put that up. Step 80, you can see those parts there that need to go on. And um, I'll have to carefully 
check all that to make sure and see whether these need to be on that um, base if these need to be put on this to be able to install all those parts we'll see how it goes all right i've got a lot to figure out i'll get it all sorted and uh thank you all for watching please subscribe if you haven't already hit that notifications bell share this on your social media there's the option down there to share it if you want to put it on your facebook or into a group or something get more people to be aware of uh, the build and um and of course your comments are welcome below uh, your comments tips and suggestions um i'm getting lots of great advice along the way and um don't forget you can see me on fridays uh for the live stream where we can chat and talk and you can or meet me in person really <laughs> and have a live discussion about any of this so you're welcome to come along it's getting quite popular a lot of people coming in and um yeah otherwise i will see you in the next part which will be part 15 okay thanks guys see you all then bye now